Okay, this is going to be rectangular pattern. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I'm already sketching on the front plane. Let's make a three point rectangle. And I want this to be 16 inches. And I want that to be, we zoom out a little bit, oh, out. Let's make this one eight inches. Now, what I want to do now is, I want to drag this out of the way and drag this out of the way. I'm going to put a point in here. I'm going to zoom in on it. And I want to dimension it. So I'm going to click on the point, click on the side. And actually, I'll pull this out here. I'm going to make this 0.5. Then I want to do the same thing for the height of it. I'll drag that out there. We got 0.5. All right, so now I have a point that is a quarter inch from the bottom and a quarter inch from the left side. I'm going to do a ellipse. I'm going to click, on, oh, click on the point. Come up at about 45 degrees. One click, two click. Three click. Now it's going to ask me the major axis. I'm going to put 0.7, or sorry, 0 0.85. 0 0.85. Enter. And 0.25. Enter. You see, it kind of looks like a tic tac, but that's not what's important. All right. So I'm going to escape ellipse. If I zoom out, you can see my little ellipse in there, but I'm going to zoom back in. Up here, I'm going to go to linear pattern. I know this says rectangular pattern. A lot of other places, this tool is called rectangular pattern. Here, it's just called linear. And I'm going to click on just my lips, not the point in the center. And it's going to assume a few things. Okay, So let's play with this for a minute. One, let's make this uh, go four high. Enter. Okay, and so it's four patterns vertically, and let's make this go eight patterns horizontally. Now, when I zoom out, I realize this does not come close to filling up the whole thing, but it will if I change a couple of things. If I change the distance apart, and fill up the whole thing. Now, Great, but I don't like that. That's too far spread apart. So let's go back and make this one here and one here. All right. So what I need to do is I just need to figure out what number I need to have this go all the way across if you haven't figured it out mathematically. All right. So let's try 20. All right. Click. Okay. So. As we see, that is too many. I believe the correct number should be 16. Let's try that. And over here, this number, 4x, 4 high, more vertically, we should be 8, 1 in every inch. It is great. Now, uh, this pattern is typically referred to as diamond plating. Sometimes these are diamonds, sometimes they are ellipses but it's used commonly on floor to give you traction and to prevent wear and being slippery and all that. So anyways, let's zoom in on this guy. Now, when you zoom in, I want to be able to see all these numbers over here. Okay, so don't cut this off when you zoom in. I wanna see these numbers, the pattern, and your name. So. I'll take a screenshot, I'll print screen, going to go to my word.